Honey Pop sounds like a cereal. It does. But it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's a very fun product from our friends at Inky Antics, mm -hmm. which is a stamp and paper crafting company. Mm -hmm. It's a 3D design and it's kind of hard to explain, so we're just going to have to show you. We are. Come play with us. Okay, well, so here are the honey comb papers. Honey comb papers yes. that are part of the honey pop yeah, collection. Okay. Yes. <laughs> now they come in sets, and mm -hmm. these are three inches by seven inch pads, I guess. Right, and they are a little bit thick. If you squeeze them down, I'd say they're about a sixteenth of an inch wide. But if you open them up, and you, you have open to them up do it at the from end. the edge, yeah. Then this is the magic. Right. Ooh. There you go. So that's the... So that's what it looks like a honeycomb. Okay, now go make some cards. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe that's not quite so easy. No. <laughs> so this is warm, mm -hmm. this is cool, and that's... Neutral, so you get okay. two white, two brown, and a black. Okay, so that's step one. And let's show you let's a finished see some card. Cards. Yeah, so here we have this sweet little bird and a cupcake. Should we show them the stamps? Two, no, because huh, okay. we're, we're, we're leading into that. Sorry. Okay, so here we have this sweet little bird and cupcake, Anne. <laughs> it's and very cute. And then when we open it up, Woo. cute. Isn't that cute? Little cupcake. Very sweet, yeah. And what I think is, well, several things are neat, but uh -huh. also these are not connected. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, okay. So you can have them, but they are glued in the right. same place right along the fold. So how do you do that, one might ask. Mm -hmm. How do you do that, Paulette? Thank you, Anne. Thank <laughs> you for asking. Well, they have a stamp set. So you get all the bits and pieces. Um, and one of the things is this uh, pattern so that you can, you've got something to cut mm -hmm. those shapes out of. And you don't even have to trace it, it's a stamp It's already. a stamp, so you can reuse it, and on the back they give you some general information. Mm -hmm. One of the things is you want to be really careful where you place the stamp. Yes. Because, just like I started <laughs> do, trying to do this to open it up, well that's mm. not quite what you want. You yeah. want it from the narrow end, right. like this, to get that honeycomb effect. So. And this is colored in with some Spectrum Noir pens. That oh, looks it? cute. It's got some Darling. shading of the purple on there. Very, very sweet. So this is a little happy birthday or have a great day. Mm -hmm. And then you do get a cherry on little top. Cupcake. Yes. So very sweet. So this mm -hmm. is out of the um, the cool cool set. Colors. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's more. Yes, of course, <laughs> there's more. This is from one gray wrinkled thing to another. You don't know anything about that yet. <laughs> and then you open it up. He's got a balloon! Happy birthday. Happy birthday! Very pleased with himself, I might add. Mm -hmm. So that's cute now. And that was the one I was going to demo. You're going to demo? Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, show us. Okay, so you're going to use the elephant stamps, and I'm okay. taking the half circle balloon um, stamp, put it on my block, and get up. It doesn't matter what ink you use because you're not going to see it. Right. <laughs> Now here's my, and I already took a chunk out of it, but this is my honeycomb paper, and you want to make sure that your dotted line lines up with oh. this line, and that this arrow lines up with the long kind of stripes. And you'll be able to tell when you get the package, these stripes go this way, and it's pretty easy to tell. Okay. So just like my other one, I'm going to stamp, oh, <laughs> what happened? Take two. <laughs> I'm going to stamp. Just like this. <laughs> there you ah. go. Good girl. All right. Do you have then, scissors? I actually do have scissors. Okay. And then just as simple as it looks, cut it out. And now you're going to need pretty sharp scissors because this is pretty thick stuff. Yeah, you're going through a lot of layers. Yeah. You know, I was actually, in my mind, I was thinking, okay, how do you put that on a fold? But you don't. You don't. So, okay. And I will need some glue stick to show you. Okay. I have glue stick. And I have a blank white card here. There's my fold in the center. Okay. I'm going to place some glue stick on the stamp. Yes, over the stamped image. Okay. And place it right on the side of the fold. And then I'm going to take some more glue. And then I'm going to close my card. Okay. Press down on that little balloon. 
And then when I open it, ta da! Ta da! Very neat. Now you Very would fun. stamp the balloon um, string first because it's kind of oh. hard to stamp over this guy. Right. So you're going to stamp that first and then do your uh, embellishment last. Okay, so it's going to look like this, mm -hmm. where it looks like they may have stamped the whole scene first mm -hmm. and then placed the, the balloon and next. And in this case, I stamped the elephant on a separate piece of cardstock and oh, cut him out just okay. to make it a little easier. Now, the directions with the honeycomb paper mm -hmm. or the stamps, one or the other, right. talks about making an eighth of an inch uh, score line on one side of your fold of your mm -hmm. card. But to make a kind of spine for yeah. your card. Yeah, um, and you did that on this one. I right. don't honestly know that you need to do that. Yeah, but all of our other cards were done without doing that on the fold, so, and they work just fine. Yeah. So it's up to you. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. Very cute to see that little window and just to show you what that stamp looks and like. And I love how it has two different selections, say if you weren't gray and wrinkly and you didn't want to. <laughs> She looks at me. <laughs> no. We're moving on, no, Anne. Paula. Yes, but there anyway, are there various. Are options. Yes, there are other options. Moving ahead. Putting my foot okay. In my mouth. Okay. <laughs> this has got uh, a missing turtle while he's it's hiding. A, he's hiding in his shell. Some birdie wishes you. Isn't that cute? So I love the little birdies. scene. Yes, and then. We're and a birdie and a turtle. <laughs> and then inside, there he is. A turtly awesome day. Very darling. So for those of you who love puns. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> or know someone who would appreciate right. it. And this is the stamp that goes with that. Now, okay, so can you only do this with stamps? I mean, the stamps are darling. Mm -hmm. But is that the only thing you can do? Well, no. Well, no. Not. Okay. <laughs> so we decided to take some of the templates because, you know, we love them. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Teresa's 25 Hearts template. Hearts for every occasion. Yeah. So we've got a cutaway card, hearts here, mm -hmm. one, two, three hearts. And then inside, our heart has become oh, out of the... three-dimensional yes, heart. Very fun. So she probably just traced half the heart on there. Exactly. And because there are grid lines on here, that's going to be pretty easy to mm -hmm. do. So... Um, and once you get the hang of which edge to trace yeah, on, which direction. you'll be good to go. Okay, we have something else. Now, is it only for cards? I would say yes, normally, but... But not now. So <laughs> here we have a scrapbook page, and mm -hmm. now we've got to get into this. So Ooh, and this is using those layered labels template, which is it my is. favorite. Is that your favorite? I so, think so. I use it the most often. Layered labels there. And then look at the flower pot oh, up there. Cute. And this is from Playful Pockets, oh. but it's not a pocket. It's just using the patterns. Mm -hmm. And then we have some journaling. So this is uh, titled Some Kind of Wonderful. Mm -hmm. and, and now for this, you would have to cut out a window in your um, page protector, you would. probably. And look, Ooh. there's that same flower pot, Ooh. but now with the um, honey pot paper. Now, can I see the Playful Pockets template? Because uh -huh. this could probably use several times. Like, well, there's a flower in the pot, obviously, right. but the cake would work well. It could. You open could. up and you have even a round star. cake, star, and then you even have a heart. So this template. It can do double duty. Yeah, okay. that's awesome. Hmm. So what you would want to do if this is in a sheet protector is actually slice right around this piece mm -hmm. so that you could have it so it could so open. So it's an interactive page. Isn't that fun? <laughs> it is really fun Very and this would make fun. a really cute card as well. Yeah, so, so I think we're on to something. <laughs> I think we are. 